How's it going guys? My name is Graham and welcome to the new Knights of the Card Table. Immediately I'm digging this art style a whole lot. It came out right at the very end of December there. Thank you to the developers Ponywolf for sending me the game. Uh, great set of devs. I've already done a few things by them uh, on the channel in the past. Now all of a sudden they have like a cool deck building one lined up and I've been very happy with what they've presented in the past. They seem like nice, fun, lighthearted time killing style games and so I thought this wouldn't be worth checking out at all. Cool blend of like cards, dice, and all sorts of other mechanics. Oh, click on the bouncy gold key of skulls to start the game. I mean start your epic quest! <laughs> it's not just a game, it's a full on quest. What, what do we got? The sword and the anvil here. Oh yeah, so we can kind of look at some of the cards and stuff. We're starting with just a regular old punch. You gotta, you gotta unlock more than just that. I... And, and, and I kind of like that the board, the menu or whatever, is set up like a, a board game. So it's kind of blending all sorts of things together. A piggy bank, and I don't really know entirely what this would be. Beat levels to earn delicious pops. They are they are like freezies, just like I thought they would be. So I'm already in love with how they're presenting the game. The UI and everything is tons of fun. Tap cards to interact. Doesn't have to be the one at the front. It almost seems like playing a, a version of Munchkin. I won't say that entirely, but it feels a little bit like it. A dungeon unfolds before you. It's like super deadly cool. Uh, so this is me, my first car. Like I, I am a card as well. Unlock and equip weapons in the forge to access other dice. Oh, so I only have a D4 right now, I think is what it's saying. Interact. I rolled a four, so I'm all set. Burst into oblivion. Here's the interesting thing, that was only just one enemy, nice, simple, straightforward, but you get to reorder the cards to try and kind of decide how you want to interact with them, so you, you could fight, fight, heal, things like that. Heal, fight, 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 heal, fight, you, you get to play around with things, so I think that'll be a fun mechanic. So something like Power Milk, which kind of reminds me of like the Croteed from It's Always Sunny. If I put that first, it increases my ability, uh, I, I do more damage before I go on to fight. Nope, I, I did not mean to rearrange like that, but there you go. Oh, because you, you can rearrange them however you want, and then you can still choose the order you click them. So that's what happened there. You painted the floor with that easy scary monster. Yeah, I sure did. I kicked major ass. Oh yeah, so here I'm going to want to heal, fight. Can I, can I rearrange now? You totally can. Uh, I don't know what my max health is. Apparently I might already be at max health, so I, I wouldn't want to take that on. I want to juice my attack up first and go for this guy. Uh, that's just the most recent thing I rolled, maybe? Do I get money? Oh, am I like recycling the cans? Is that kind of what's happening there? That's pretty funny. May also be smashed for gold and general awesomeness if no health can be restored. So that's really useful. Defeating or using three cards of the same type in a row will grant a bonus. So those three cans in a row would have been a bonus as well. Similarly, rolling the same number three times consecutively grants a bonus. It's weird that the way they frame these dice, because it makes it look like like a 2D chip or something, you know? It 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 doesn't fully give it the sense of having having the full three dimensions there so there's something kind of wacky going on with the art there and it's also what trips me out about the the triangle dice the four-sided die there it looks off did you know that doing three in a thing special powers i did know that in fact <laughs> it's true ever since the fifth edition that's funny like uh dungeons and dragons reference going on there what, what are these reminding me of? That I have two more cards to get through and six more waves of this dungeon, something like that? So let's go ahead and take a bunch of damage boosters all at once to get uh, an extra bonus. Oh, it added three more. I don't know if it doubled my damage or just simply added three more. Oh, we'll just do some more of that sweet business then. Get all that two times, two times. It, it specifically said there that's what it was. And normal monsters. What was the first thing it introduced me to? Easy monsters. Now it's talking about normal monsters. Take care not to take them for granted. Many an adventurer has taken, found themselves laid low by a mighty vampire cat. There's too many takes in a row and I just started inserting some of my own apparently. Uh, so I'm almost at the end of this tutorial I think. Ooh, that's a lot of boons. That's the word, right? Boons? Boons, boons. That's a weird word. I don't know if it was that weird, but you certainly kind of ruined it for me. I'll tell you that. I'm gonna, oh, I still have my damage boost from last time, so I'm gonna rail, roll that straight through there. 
Uh, I feel... Ah, oh, that used up all my boost. In that case, I don't really need to see the need to heal. I'm going to take my boost once again and take on this rocket dog, which is kind of neat. That wasn't a great outcome, was it? Not a great roll overall. At least I was able to get through it. Now I can heal my way up. And is it still going to give me the three times bonus even though I didn't use it the same way? It does. So even though it was a heal money money, it still gives the bonus. Hard monsters, some sort of king, king cobra. I, I realized that as I was saying it, I was going to call him a mace wielding cobra or something. I saw the crown. I get it. That's funny. <laughs> Hope for the best, hey? That's always just stellar advice. Thank you. Boons! <laughs> You'll need them for this slightly more menacing monster. Ah, uh, I don't know what you're getting at with the boons, man. I don't want to take monsters on back to back, I wouldn't think, so I'm going to try and kind of lay them out in a way that makes more sense. Oh, yeah, if I can force... Ah, uh, see, I that's almost worth it, because you can try to force a double boost to your attack there. Nicely done. Now I, I just want to fight you again, because I want I, I don't mind taking a bit of damage if it means that, well, that was terribly done. But now you can't fail. Ah, so when you defeat a monster, then it resets your counter there. So if you, you have to, if it takes three rolls against a, a monster, because I was wondering why it wasn't keeping track of them, but it doesn't make sense to keep track for something simple like healing. But if you manage to get three like that against a monster, then you probably get like a critical hit or something like that. One pop, managed to get one pop, 100 gold. I'm sitting on quite a lot of gold right now. I have worked my way through one, one of these things. Uh, I've done one, one hard monster apparently. Only four easy monsters? I, I have not accomplished a lot it would seem. But, uh, I don't know what I can do with that. Something about being brave, save some of those pops for when you unlock a weapon, okay? Uh, will do. I guess you can upgrade maybe with that. That's my thinking on that. I wish I could click through that guy's dialogue rather than him doing it before I realize he's there. The punch is what I start with. Nice and simple. Can I skip if I go straight to the mace? Spiky at the top. Grabby at the base. That makes sense. Inexplic inexplicably takes two away from your roll. Hmm. That's no good. I don't want that, do I? Uh, unlocks on the second level. Reliable, sword-like, but uh, subtracts one. What do you have to say about this? So you lost your weapon, brass and knuckle up. Oh, can I switch to armors and things like that? Okay, great. Shieldless, shieldly. Uh, a lid, wonderful, all sorts of things. This would be armor as well, I'm assuming. Roguish, a well-rounded adventurer. By that, we mean average. <laughs> Just didn't want to say it. Who needs shields? You do. 3%? Minus 3%? Okay, that, that's just extra details that we, I guess, don't particularly need right now. How much of this do I have to do to, like, level up? I activate 100 cards. Oh, and it doesn't even count the ones that I've just, that I just did. Because I just did, like, 20 or 30 or whatever. Those do not apply. When it says unlocks at, like, level 11, maybe it means these, like, this would be level 6 or 5 or what have you. I guess that's maybe how I'm supposed to spend 120 to unlock the dungeon, or can I go back and just kind of grind? I can. I didn't really necessarily want to do that. Re return to map. Let's uh, let's back out of that real quick. Spend. Yes. Moving forwards. Treasure. Is that another card type? Shake for gold. Gold output will increase the further you descend into a dungeon. More on that later. Who's leaving these everywhere? Can I shake that? Having successfully vanquished the tutorial dungeon, completely normal dungeon, you march to meet your destiny. Is this only, there's only one floor to this, but I have to work through 11 additional cards. Defeat monsters to get the most gold ever. It made it sound like I could shake it, like just like grab it and shake money out of it. Oh, that's what's going on here. Uh, I'm gonna fight this, this easy looking guy first. I was, Really hoping I could roll literally anything other than a one. Smooth move. Not so hot, hey? I guess I just keep queuing up monsters. Ooh, a times two. That was nice. I. It seems like wasteful almost. Yeah, in that case, honestly, it was kind of wasteful. Hmm. Even if I chain together different monster battles, it does still keep counting that, so that's nice. I would have to roll a four again, though. It's not just about rolling three, it's three of the same. 
I did it! Four fours, your weapon is plus four? Or something like that? That was so fast, I didn't get to see what it said, which was too bad. Uh, probably just something about you do, you're, you're real great the next time you fight. Or was it leveling up my weapon? Is my fist, like, permanently better or something like that? I don't really think that's what was going on there, but maybe. Hmm. Alright. Here's hoping we can go through three monsters at once here, because I think that would be cool. I don't, I've, like, using the damage boost would be great, but I would much rather be committal. Ooh, what's that card going to be over there? Yeah, yeah, because I want to do extra power, plus two power. Do you think that's a permanent addition that you receive? Or just for the next fight or whatever? Because I wanted to see what fighting three cards, fighting three cards in a row would do, because I hadn't had to do that yet. Maybe that was what I got. Oh, no, 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 by clicking on it. Just naturally by clicking on it, I turned it over. That's So it's going to be secret sometimes. Uh, but it's still counted as committing to whatever it was going to be, right? So, risky. Sometimes it might be a health boost or a damage boost. Sometimes it might be a monster. Easy peasy. Got that one knocked out of there. What are some of these other things? These mission progresses are what gives me coins. I think that's why I would have got 100 coins after each of those, because I completed one. Something about light justice. Ah, it's a bummer that I keep missing that. Oh, it's literally showing me on the map here. Here's where you unlock the sword, your first shield, whatever the heck that explosive looking thing is, the big old mace. So that's cool. You really can see what lies in wait. Oh man, there's like a big cutoff area with the cloud and you move to an entirely new environment and area. There is so much to do in this game. And then way, way at the far end here, there's like branching paths and we can get a cool bone sword and like what looks like a lightsaber. Are you kidding me? That looks awesome. I'm not going to play the game long enough to, to show all that off. I, I, I'll i give it a good, nice look here today for you guys. I'm probably going to end up playing more of it on my own, to be honest. But uh, I, I'm not going to do a big series on it. It, it. it is super cool, though. Also, the game's only like five bucks. So I've already been playing for, what, 15, 20 minutes? I've only done like a couple levels. It, I mean, it'll go quicker the, the more you play and everything like that. Uh, but I have not made it very far, and there's clearly like... Actually, do you know what? It's said. It's said on the store page. I have to go check that. There are three different separate worlds, and that ends up covering over a hundred different dungeons. There's the Suburbia, the Haunted Forest, and the Deadly Dojo. Uh, so there is a lot to see in this game. No achievements or anything like that, but I think they're also calling it version 0.54 or something like that. So I'm guessing updates and stuff like that, balancing and everything like that, are, are coming up. So it's always a minus one, hey, but you roll a six. So you can still risk doing zero, but the odds are that you should do more. Hmm. Kind of kind of a bit of a risky, but I'm, I'm going to go for it. We'll see how it goes. Sword equipped as your six-sided weapon, which, like, doesn't make sense. Swords are very famously two-sided. Wait. Do I have both? I So you can carry one, four, six, and eight? I have both? This is intriguing. This is a whole other side to things. Am I going to roll two dice for every attack? Switching weapons. Never mind. You may only have one weapon equipped to each die, but you, you do have to switch between them when you're in battle here. Congratulations on unlocking your multi-weapon perk. Some say it makes the players overpowered, and I agree. <laughs> well, you're supposed to be on my side. You're supposed to want me to be overpowered. Ah, uh, yeah, so nice and simple little switch there. Uh, I do like that I can change on the dime like that and kind of adapt my play style. Yeah, roll a six. Why the hell not? Just go for it. And then guzzle some milk to kind of counteract that negative, because I don't like having that hanging over our head. Not one bit. Oh, weak. Weak miss there, dude. I'm trying to bolster ya. I want you to do well, you bastard. <laughs> There we go. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get, like, uh, those combos together to raise your power, raise your confidence a little bit. Well, this was kind of a simple start to things then, wasn't it? Might as well chug that while we're at it. Then where did that extra two come to play? It must have just added that after the fact. And here we get our first actual use of floors outside of the tutorial. 
in the deeper dungeons, attacks, health values, and everything increase. What's this? Some dungeons have multiple floors? The revelation leaves you a gasp. <laughs> Truly, this world is well designed. I, I do like how quick that guy's inputs are. It's, it's just a shame they go away on their own, but it is funny. I do like it still overall. Oh, look at this nice diversity of mailmen. I don't know why I do that. It honestly doesn't... That guy's already been beat up once, it looks like. I don't know why I bother dragging him to the front when you can literally, like, click around like this. Oh, that's such a time saver. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and stick with doing that in the future. Because that's way better overall, isn't it? Can I keep that streak going even more? Does four matter... Four in a row matter to you whatsoever? How about five? Just chop, 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 chop. No stopping me whatsoever. I'm the best... There's ever been the slaughter plus five to the power that was for having six in a row That was seven and that's as far as I can take it, but that was I'm keeping that keeping those combos hot Making making it look good. Oh We're we aced this and now we basically just could turn this into cash which gets doubled at the end That was as good as I possibly could have done through any of that. I'm pretty sure so high five to me well, well done. Seriously, I don't really know what to do with the pops. Oh my god. This... Okay. Oh... Okay, I, I, I was confused. I thought this was like a, a different outfit or something you could put on. You can literally unlock different classes. So, he's a rogue-ish. Then there's a punch boxer. A band-aider, which is... Band-aid-ier? It would be like a medic type thing. A soda mancer, a smack fighter, a pal around a den, and a pop caster. I like I like the uh, the humor in the game here a lot. It doesn't say what this guy takes. Super exclusive to a certain version of the game. I don't think there's a different version of the game. I have no idea. Maybe he's just coming later or something like that, or it's or it's just a joke. But that's where the pops go. The pops are specifically for unlocking additional classes to play as, which is. Which is pretty neat, so I, I'm sticking with the roguish for the time being, unless I can find a way to really get an insane amount of pops. Lightning quick, but uh, I don't see myself getting 28 additional pops anytime particularly quickly. It seems like a bit of a, a bit of a large ask. Hmm, I'm gonna try and clear some of this- oh, come on, man. Some of this other stuff out of here to see if I can get three piggy banks, because I think that would be fun to boost that as high as possible. I'm sticking with the sword for now. I like the sword. Oh, but do you know what? You're less likely to roll three of a kind. That's an interesting trade-off that's happening there. I kind of like that a little bit. That's a reason, a good reason to stick with the four of a kind. Less damage output and all that, but like, interesting. Also, didn't realize you could dodge. Oh, and I stuck you back further in the queue. Why? Why is a pylon so damn dodgy? What are you doing to me here, boy? Risky! Okay. Okay. It was actually quite risky after all. I think I'm going to commit to a heal on that one if it's going to go ahead and make itself available. But now I basically just have to chain things together as well as possible. That's where the misses come from. You roll a one when you already have the minus one, then it doesn't count for anything. Kill streak, good. I did need additional power, but I'm also about to die. My first time fainting. Buy back your soul, it'll cost you one pop. No. No, I need to hoard those. I would much rather just restart that dungeon. I was only on the first floor. So let's go ahead and try that combination again. It's only one floor. Also, I'm curious what all this is. Ah, it's just how you open up the tutorial again. I noticed it before and hadn't attempted to interact with it, so I thought I would give that a quick whirl. Just awful. Awful attempt. Come on, man. I'm ditching the sword. The sword's cut. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm restarting this particular one. I don't want to erase data or anything like that. But I'm, I'm gonna give a key. I get a key for this one, apparently. I'm giving the brass knuckles their time to shine. They don't let me down nearly as often. Somehow, the more reliable weapon. Uh, so I, I get three monsters 
combo. It would have been awesome to get the combo for having three monster cards in a row and for having three threes rolled in a row. But not quite. I'll just take a big old power boost. How about that? Power multiplier. That's out of control. That's too damn good. Do I lose it if I ignore some of these other things? I mean, I don't want to waste it on, like, the world's lamest, lamest possible thing. 12 damage against a beehive. You poor, poor beehive. I didn't mean to be such a jerk. At least you never miss with the brass knuckles. I, I wouldn't think a sword would be so unwieldy compared to your fists, but apparently that's the case, because it seemed to happen quite often. Now I almost do want to roll another one, as stupid as that is. That combo realistically isn't, probably isn't worth it, is it? Seems like a stupid gamble to take. That milk really pushed me over the edge there on that one. Awful. That wasn't... Oh, I accidentally switched to his sword again. Ah! Oh, one hundy, a ways away. Another pop. What are some of these other things? Ten hard monsters. I've only bought three ever? That's crazy. Ten power cards? Also only... Only that? That's not that many. Oh, are there other things to unlock through... Like, it says you get, and then it's always a piggy bank. I wonder if sometimes it's going to be something other than a piggy bank. That would be interesting. Uh, we should probably go chuck that shield on now that we finally have one. Maybe we can defend ourselves a little bit. Oh, I still have to pay pops to get it? Do I? I mean, it says it costs money and pops, but I also thought I just kind of unlocked it. Good old shieldy keeps you from dying. 3% chance to dodge. Awesome. It does, you still do have to pay that stuff. You're a proud or owner of shieldy. Well, I don't want to equip shieldless. How do I unequip it? I think I think it's it's automatically going to be shieldy there. Hmm. So you must start earning popsicles um, more rapidly than I currently have been. I mean, the dungeons are starting to cost more and everything. Their payouts are probably going to be better, especially when you get to lower levels and stuff like that. Mm, I'm going to go ahead and stick with the brass knuckles for the time being. Although these are slightly more powerful enemies overall. Ah, but where where do where are they gonna fall categorically? Because they, I, I think those are en enough to be mediums. Most of those guys are probably mediums, normals. I mean, what have, what have you? Yeah, the hard monsters I think are quite a bit significantly harder than what I've been seeing here. I guess I'm committing to the health strictly. Well, I was doing it strictly just trying to get a three of a kind boost, not realizing how few cards there were left to go through on this particular stage. Now we're set up for part two. Power boost. Power boost. Gamble on that this might be another power boost. Nicely done. Power multiplier, although it's not gonna matter for any of these cards. It's funny to plan so much based on that. For these cards that don't matter, I guess in that instance I should have stopped and drank this first to really uh, stop myself from possibly failing at all. I'm gonna attack this guy. If he messes me up, I'm gonna take a step back. Well, that was unneeded. I was gonna stay take a step back and heal. Not very often I've fought things that do more than one damage. That just hasn't been common yet. A thousand gold from that one that time. What's the new stand-in for that? Perform five dice streaks. Oh, I do so many streaks. I'm all about the streaks. And you get pops for that one. So it is. it does change. I called that. And I'm looking forward to utilizing that as much as possible. Ooh, poison card type. The label looks so exciting, but this beverage will leave a sour taste in your mouth. Each usage will reduce your next attack by its attack value. Oh, crap. Streak three in a row and cleanse your palate, if you know what I mean. Okay, so you're, you're putting a negative against yourself, but if you manage to swallow three negatives, it goes back to zero, so that's cool. Uh, you can't get rid of them. Fat on conquest is confronted by poison. Did it say fat? The poison is sure to sap their strength, and it's gross. Green. I just have to eat my bitter pill here? Well, I'm going to risk it, then. I'm going to risk the minus two with the... Uh, the sword. I guess maybe that wasn't the way to go. Terrible. 
That went so bad. <laughs> That's about as bad as I possibly could have went. Nuts. I guess I'm sticking brass knuckles. Do you know what? I'm just gonna start by fighting you. I don't, I don't want to mess around with uh, the poison thing. Hopefully it queues up an extra one for me. Oh, he's getting even more and more poison. Shit. If there wasn't even enough of them. It forced that. Okay. <laughs> At least this time I can totally cleanse them again. Is it gonna get rid of... Th oh, okay, it gets rid of all five, not just the three. So that's really good for me. Because that... It was getting real dicey. I was real scared about that. Interesting how different levels of the dungeon seem to it affects how many how many things are queued up here for you to deal with. Um, on the last one, only two showed at a time. This one was three. Let's see if the third level changes. This time it's four. So I don't know if that always has to do with what level of the dungeon you're on. I would imagine not, but it didn't not not play a role. <laughs> <laughs> I might as well just keep guzzling poison here if that's all it's going to keep throwing at me. Uh, and then, like, the final card I deal with will just have to be poison. And that's okay. I can I can swallow one little bitter pill here. I think that's fair enough. I think that was a wise ordering. I do really, really enjoy how kind of strategic that ordering is starting to become. One hundy! Man, just get a hundred of those. Got a thousand gold. What was this one again? Oh, the streaks. Did I even do any streaks there? I did a few there because I kept trying to get rid of the poison. Oh, five dice streaks. That's so much harder. That's so much harder. <laughs> I, uh, I've i only done that like once or something. It would be more 420. That's funny. It's always funny. It's easier to do with the four four-sided dice. So maybe I stick with that. Between each level, the player's avatar shall be allowed to choose between two randomly sorted prizes. That's new. Be based on rarity and the game master's win. Oh, that's funny. He's kind of like a dungeon master game master. Players are not allowed to complain about the prize selection under penalty of contracting win wingerism? Wine? Winer? Maybe it's winerism? Winerism, of course, being a level 5 disease on par with break characteritis. All right, Professor Rule Lawyer. I realize now that I should have been granting rewards between levels. It took long enough to get to it. I looked it up online, and I guess you're right. Maybe. <laughs> I, I all of a sudden love this guy's little side care commentary that he's just trying to run like a fun D&D &D session, and he's kind of bumbling his way through it. I like it. I dig it. That level that introduced the poison obviously is going to like drive home the poison really heavily and make it a very recurring important element of, of that particular dungeon, now it's going to come up like infrequently. And that's so much sketchier because I'm going to have to concern myself so much more nuts with uh, like using it appropriately and not, not totally cornering myself or screwing myself with that, you know? I, if I'm going to swallow a, a booster thing, I want to take on a, the more powerful of the enemies. I think is the right strategy there. Uh, oh, four in a row. Nice. Plus four powerful. You got this, dude. No need to worry about it whatsoever. Although it must only affect the very next battle. I kind of suspected that, but didn't know it 100% for certain. Uh, yeah, but if poison comes up really infrequently, three ones. And I, he I healed myself. That was cool. Oh, is it at the bottom of each floor? Or was that the end of that dungeon? I'll take gold. I don't need to heal at all. It's at the end of each floor. So that's even cooler, actually. Um, I was saying something about poison. Probably just that it's going to kill me a lot. <laughs> it's my suspicion at this point. Funny to get those streaks so close together all of a sudden. Hey, lay it on me. I am uh, thought I was all set. At least I got the kill streak out of it. Going another another round <laughs> against a, a monster like that probably wasn't the wisest decision right away. Uh, do I just try and fingers crossed that enough poisons pile up? I think that's it. That's exactly what I'm going to try and do. And it's going to force me to kind of wait it out a little bit here, isn't it? Enemy, enemy, enemy. There we go. Power multiplier. Get out of here, mailman. I don't need any of your shit. I'm full of health, so I might as well take this guy on. Five. Five seems to be like the highest Q 
that there ever is. I don't think I've seen higher than that. Ah, I, I can I don't need to streak everything every damn time, do I? There, I was able to kind of sit on that one enough to to force the poisons to be at the end there. Interesting, because it seems like you can eat poison and then like wait it out. Cause I how did that work? I thought I had five poison at once at one point. Now nah, that must not have been the case. It must have reset at three, because otherwise it wouldn't make sense. I'm getting there. Oh, one more hard, one more norm, one more normy, and I'll be through it. Well, I got to see what this is all about. Is this the first? Ah, it's a spell, some sort of spell tome. Spell cards are one-time use cards that, well, everything kind of is, isn't it? That cast one of six different magical whatchamacallits. I've never thought about how to spell whatchamacallits before, but I think that does the trick. Mm, it's not random. It made it sound like it randomly cast something. I think there's just six different spell tomes possible. Fireball's easiest to learn and hits all enemies currently in play for a point of entropy damage. It's OP if you ask me. <laughs> Zoosh, pachow, magic noises. The magical aura in this place reveals an ancient, ancient secret to you. The fabled fireball spell. I imagine the guys who worked on this game, Pony Wolf, play a lot of D&D &D or something because they're tying in all this commentary about like how they would run their sessions and stuff. It's locked though, so what does it take? Do I have to have killed a monster to do it? Oh. I'm very curious about what just happened. I can't click past it? You have to use it when it's locked like that? It forces it into the position it's in? Oh, that is interesting. So I wonder if other things are going to start being locked. Poison spiders all of a sudden? Well, yeah, fireball, fireball that up. I wonder if that was strictly for the sake of a uh, tutorial there. Because I, I, well, obviously I'm not switching to the sword because now I can one-shot any of these guys, which is great for me. Um, but that would be a really interesting mechanic to make a recurring thing that now and again, hey, two pops for that one. So we're starting to get them a little more frequently. That would be a super interesting thing to lock things down again, where it's like, you're going to have to fight this monster first if you want to do anything else. Because, like, you would see it coming up in the queue and, like, panic and be like, shit, I, I have to do things in order now. Uh, could be cool. Could be cool. Uh, that's neat that it I can unlock things that are additional mechanics in the game. It's not just a weapon that I get to wield or anything like that pretty interested in that. Money hasn't been a very big concern yet. I haven't had to worry about uh, going back and grinding or anything like that. So that's pretty good because no one wants to bother with that, do they? Doubtful. Oh, come on with the additional poison. I'm all geared up to punch things. You're going to throw more poison at me? I don't want to deal with this right now. There we go. That's what I'm waiting on. Are there even going to be enemies in this round here? Cause I'm kind of eating a lot of crow here and not really getting a lot of good out of it. There we go. Finally, that, that was like a different variation of the skater guy. He was a, a little bit different of one. Gonna have to go into the next floor with a, a little bit of a, a poison splash, are we? I think I'm full health, so I'm just going gold. So I'm gonna have to take that negative one. See, yeah, so that that's what I was trying to get at before that I think I uh, mishandled. For anything else, like three healths in a row are going to give you the bonus. Three poisons, period, is how you get rid of it. I don't think it has to be in a row necessarily. I don't know what to do. I don't know if it's worth switching to the sword because then it's minus two. Oh, it went away. It only lasts for a fight. That's good. I kind of suspected it, but I don't think I had really fully put it to the test. Makes sense, though. I'm learning, and the game is introducing things at a very healthy rate, actually. Like, it's very easy to stay on top of. Nothing's, like, too much to handle here. I would be embarrassed if some of this was too much to handle. Uh, but I'm, I'm digging it so far. The, the color swaps just seem to be for the sake of variety. It doesn't actually seem to have a real proper impact on on whether or not they're they're weaker or stronger or anything like that. So here if I do one, two, three, three, three gets rid of it. I just wanted to see if there was any possible way to stack up more. Confirms that there's not. 
two more pops, 300 gold, because that one's been a long time waiting to get cleared. All kinds of new things to work towards there. Still, not doing great on the dice streaks. Receive a thousand K. Oh my god, okay. I thought I was going to have to do a thousand of something. Activate ten Sanctify cards. Sanctify me. Uh, not something that I have come across yet. Must be something you unlock further down the line. You know what, guys? I think that is a pretty healthy look at what the game has to offer. There is definitely so much more to be seen here. What did I actually end up making it through? I've done 9 out of more than 100 levels in this game. It's still rolling out new mechanics fairly consistently. I've put in 40 minutes into this game already. Uh, like, they're still actively working on and improving the game. It's only like 5 bucks. It's dirt cheap overall. So I think I, this comes pretty highly recommended for me. I love the style. I think they handled the difficulty curve really well. There's fun, like, decision-making. It's got the cool aesthetic and tie-in of, of board games and, and dice and good humor and good art and stuff. Like, this is actually... I think this is my favorite thing I've seen from Pony Wolf. I'm, I'm very uh, enthusiastic about what they have here. This is awesome. So great work to those devs. I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Are you sure you want to exit the best game ever? Today, unfortunately, yes, but I'll come back to it. I'll come play more of this on my own, I think. So I'm sorry if your feelings are temporarily hurt. <laughs>